hey thanks very much uh, we spent a lot of time on this uh, it's hard work to make something minimal when it's actually trying to communicate and control all kinds of uh, complex electronics on the other side of this uh, this bulkhead so yeah we, we really didn't want to put a whole mass of screens into this when the whole essence of this car is this simple minimal uh, metal dashboard so you know speedometer uh, power draw battery level clock a couple of drive modes and some warning lights and that's it so just to go over what's what's going on here, these are all new uh, digital displays from a company called Speed Hut in the US, and we recreated the Smiths typeface, so you get the original looking numbers and, and fonts and all this kind of stuff. Um, ties it in really nicely, but very accurate gauges. Speedo in kilometers an hour, amp draw, which is basically the current that the motor is pulling, so how much energy the motor is pulling out of the batteries from zero to 600 amps, and then how much is going back in from zero to, I guess, negative 200 amps, when you're regen braking, so how much power you're putting into the, back into the batteries. A few things like that that Lee's Land Rover's never had, like hazard lights, there's the stereo coming on. Um, the uh, cabin lights as well, which won't really do much here, like you can see a little bit of shadow from them. Um, headlights here, regen braking, on, off, demister, and spotlights. Down here is where it's a bit more interesting, where we've got uh, you know a full sweep battery gauge, so you can get a lot more fine detail on the battery level. Two drive modes for on and off-road. Uh, changes a few things like regen brake settings, throttle responsiveness, and then a whole bunch of warning lights that are driven by CAN bus and, and tell you things that are that may be going wrong, uh, or that are going wrong, I guess. And then there's more information on the screen, which is actually under the bonnet. Uh, the other interesting one, which won't work with the car on, is camp mode. Uh, and that turns on all the 12 volt systems so that you can power devices, fridges, charge phones without the key and when the car's off, so when you're camping.